Hi everyone, it's Andrew Murchie from Enhanced Dimensions, back with part 4, which is the final part um, of our tutorials on converting 2D to 3D footage using Adobe After Effects. Um, hopefully you've followed through on the first three, I know especially the third one um, was quite well, was um, quite complex with um, the displacement map if you're not used to messing with these kind of things. Anyway, this um, final one brings together some of the stuff we've already done and really just adds to it something very, very simple that I'm sure most of you After Effects users will be able to do anyway. Now, in this particular instance, because we've done it so many times in the other uh, tutorials, I've just gone ahead and set up a new uh, comp and um, I'll just I'll quickly run you through what it is that, that I've set up. I'm not going to go into any specific detail, but I'm sure you, uh, hopefully if you've done the other ones, you'll, you'll be able to keep up with this. Okay, so I've <coughs> I've set up the new file already, and uh, as we've done many of the other ones, I've already set up a anaglyph um, composition with my left view and my right view underneath, which you'll know how to do, because uh, we've done it so many times before. If you don't, go and look at them. Um, but the main um, amount of work we're going to do here is going to be in the left view. So the right view will just stay as the normal footage and we're going to adjust the left view and that will create the difference um, that you'll see shortly. Uh, we've I've taken the uh, video of the scene and I've duplicated it three times on the timeline, uh, in fact four times on the timeline, and um, I've named them. so. I've named them really in the three layers that we're going to be creating here. So what we have is on the top layer we've got the newspaper and then below that we've got the man and below him we've got his displacement map and below that we've got the background. So at the moment we've got, um, I'll switch them off. So there's your background footage which is just the raw footage of the, uh, of the gentleman in question. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a mask for um, the top layer which is the newspaper which is going to be out in front of everything else and we'll do this let me just switch off these layers make this a little bit bigger for us to work with um, select my pen tool and I'm going to start in round about the middle so I'm starting about about two seconds I'm just going to draw a mask nice and simple everyone's got their own different ways of using these tools so um, You'll have to excuse me if, if it's slightly different to the way you would do it. I'm also not going to be incredibly accurate with this. Obviously, if you were doing it on a, a live project, you would want to spend a little more time making your mask a bit more accurate. So what we'll do is we're going to look at that mask. We're going to feather that mask. Feathering is your friend, so uh, it's always it always helps. Now, I'm just going to disable that mask so we can see the mask's path. Um, and I'm just going to um, get the mask path there and set a keyframe. And what I'm going to do, now I'm going to select my arrow tool. Uh, and let's drag it back to somewhere near the beginning of it coming down the screen. So Okay, let's have it there. Now what I'm going to do is just adjust... I could move the whole thing or scale it, but I'm just going to move the points and we'll get a rough animation of this. Oops, let's move that one. Rough animation of this happening. It's probably good enough for, for what we need at the moment. It's okay, let's step through that and see. That follows that not too badly. Let's maybe just adjust that one slightly. So let's actually jump further down to the point. Oops, I've gone right past the point. Where does he stop? Uh, it's almost there. Let's have a little adjustment there. Put that in the middle. So really all I'm, all I'm doing is um, making a motion mat effectively of this. Just as you would if you were keying things out. Or Sorry, I'm kind of muttering as I'm doing this. Could have really jumped between the stages. I mean, if you've done if you've done this before as well, you can probably skip forward by a bit. In fact, I might actually at some point edit this so you can 
So you'll be less worried. And then that's not too bad in that direction. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is, that's going to be our top layer. We'll take the add. Uh, there we go. Oh, nice. Now the middle layer is going to be your um, your man himself. Now what we've done with the man is we've actually done the whole displacement map thing that you'd have learned in the previous tutorial. So you can switch it off and you can see his face move slightly. So we're getting the uh, left view for this. Um, in this particular instance, again, I've just adjusted the settings so I was happy with it, so I've got a setting of minus 10. Um, and the displacement map is done in an identical manner to what we did um, previously. The difference here is we've also cut a mask around the gentleman so that we could actually um, cut out the background. So if you want to see that layer on its own, effectively you're seeing the man appear from behind there okay and finally the background we've actually just got the background it's just the normal shot with no adjustment so if we switch all those on and we'll jump over to the anaglyph you know so we can actually look at it um, we'll have a look so I've locked the composition I'm just going to go back to the left view and I'm going to pop my 3D glasses on. I uh, don't see why you shouldn't pop yours on at this point. Now what we can do is, you can already see the man's face has got the uh, the depth to it. What we're going to do here is, we're going to adjust the newspaper on its way down so that as it comes down, we'll be able to see. So we're going to move the newspaper several pixels maybe five or six to the right and then we're going to take the background and we're going to move it a few pixels to the left and what you can already see is you can already see the depth appearing there so by scrubbing through we'll go back and in fact let's jump back to the anaglyph view here and what we can see is from what we've done I'll just slowly scrub through. From what we've done, there comes the, the newspaper, which is most definitely in front of our gentleman. There he is with his nice round face. And in the background, we've got the, uh, the third layer, which is the glass and panelling behind his head. Now you might get some slight double imaging ghosting here you can adjust this by um, well there's a variety of means we could create a flat background mat where we actually touch this gentleman's duplicate head out um, we could scale this gentleman up a little bit because the newspaper's in front of him we might get away with that um, or of course you can come up with some other interesting and exciting way to do it anyway that's effectively the last of our tutorials. Now this just covered adding your your uh, adding a motion mask or a motion mat into um, the range of things that you have previously learned, and especially um, the um, the displacement map, which I think is probably the uh, the most interesting technique. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it for me on. Uh, converting 2D to 3D using Adobe After Effects. Um, if you have a little bit of time, it'd be great if you'd come over to enhancedimensions.com and um, you can have a look around at other tutorials there and download some of the freebies and um, just generally have a, a lot of fun with uh, some interesting stereoscopic bits and pieces that we have. So, um, for the moment, from the uh, flight path in Edinburgh, until next time, thanks for listening. This is Andrew Murchie for Enhanced Dimensions. Bye now.